What's up, Taiwan? I'm Erica Liu with 10 minutes of news from here in Taiwan and around the world. A rail line in eastern Taiwan is back in service after being damaged by an earthquake in September. The earthquake knocked out a 20-kilometer stretch of track connecting the eastern counties of Taidong and Hualien. The Transportation Ministry worked hard to restore access on that line ahead of the busy Lunar New Year travel season in January. They also plan to increase earthquake resistance on other rail lines after the holidays. Officials say trains on the restored line will operate slowly at first. The marching band from Taipei First Girls High School is heading to the U.S. to take part in this year's Tournament of Roses Parade. It's the first time in 18 years for the band to march in the parade in Pasadena, California before the Rose Bowl American football game on January 2nd. The band has a history going back more than a century, and it performs at major events in Taiwan and overseas. The school is sending a team of 135 to the parade, but marching and playing for 9 kilometers is not their only challenge. There's a final exam waiting for them when they get back. Band leader Jian Yishan said they've brought their homework with them. Three large earthquakes strike Taiwan every year on average. This makes it vital for the country to have an effective emergency response capability, and search and rescue dogs are a crucial part of the team. Sandy Chi went to see them in training. This is Ame. While she may look cute and playful, she's no ordinary fur baby. She's a professionally trained search and rescue dog. See, as I kneel down, this is what a search and rescue dog does to alert its handler that there is someone in need. Good girl. And after I stand up, the dog understands that I'm okay to move around, and this is what they are trained to do at the center. Even though Ame is still in training, she's been out in the field. In September 2022, Ame was part of a rescue mission in eastern Taiwan following a magnitude 6.8 earthquake. Buildings collapsed, and bridges and railways were damaged, killing one person and injuring more than 100. Uh, Ame is brave and has never backed away from any situation. But her handler says she was traumatized by the Taroko train crash in 2021. It was the deadliest train accident in Taiwan's history. 49 people died when an express train derailed at the entrance to a tunnel. Uh Ame has been working with her handler Luo Haofang since she was 18 months old. Uh 
，每次到了考试，大家都会特别关心我，呵呵觉得我有点，哎、欸，你今天怎么怪怪的？你你发生发生什么事了？这样，对啊。When it comes to search and rescue, a dog doesn't have to be a big and powerful breed to make a difference. They can be like little bagel here. Bagel. <笑> bagel 呢是我带的第一只小型小型的搜救犬。对，那我之前都是带大型狗，那它是杰克罗苏格。像我们去年有泰鲁格号，泰鲁格号的出轨事件，那那这部分我们那个我们队上也有只杰克罗苏，他也有去救灾，然后他他那他他那时候就可以钻进一些狭小的巷的的细缝去做搜索。对，但是在在我们拉到在赈灾的现场化，在房屋倒塌的话，它会有很多很大块的大小不一的水泥块，所以它可能会有很大的落差。有可能小型犬的话，他们就会觉得，他们就会必须要绕比较远的路，才能达到他要去的目的。这样。Taiwan has only been training rescue dogs since 1999, following the devastating 921 earthquake. At the time, 103 dogs were brought in from overseas to help with rescue efforts. They saved the lives of many people. Today, Taiwan has a total of 75 search and rescue dogs in training. But the country does not have the examiners to certify them. For this, New Taipei City works with the International Rescue Dog Organization in Japan. One of the examiners is Kaori Oshima. She came to Taiwan this year to test some of the dogs. Oh, so it's in Japan. Same thing. But it's very difficult to find the dogs. And the dogs are very difficult to find. So 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 the dogs are very difficult to find. あの台湾においても日本においても,もうこれからもますます必要なあのものとされていくと確信してます。アメイ is now at the middle level of training and preparing for a higher exam in March 2023. To pass the exam, she will need to competently locate three people hidden in the mock-up of a disaster site within 30 minutes. It's a major challenge for any dog, but アメイ should be up to it. Just don't expect her to do this. Ame, shake hands. Well, clearly she has much more important things to do, such as saving lives. As Naya Jo, Ricky, and Sandy Chi in New Taipei City for Taiwan Plus. Taiwan's first domestically built passenger train got its final run out on Tuesday. Many local railway buffs came out to say goodbye. Jeremy Olivier has this story. Pulling out of the station one last time. This Fuxing train made its final run in southern Taiwan on December 27th. Introduced in 1981, this folding door passenger train was the first to be built in Taiwan. It was also the first to have air conditioning, which made traveling in the country's sweltering summer heat much more bearable. The Fuxing Semi Express service was officially retired in March, but the National Railways Authority kept on four of the trains to ply the South Link Line between the cities of Pingtung and Taidong. Rail enthusiasts were out in force to bid farewell to the service. Some even asked the engineer to sign their tickets. It was a very sentimental occasion for some. Others just didn't want to miss out on a chance to say goodbye. 现在那刚好有这个机会，是，反正就是赶快过来。那接下来的话，台铁就只剩下新车了。As Taiwan's first domestically made train chugs its way toward that depot in the sky, railgoers can welcome in a new era of train travel in Taiwan, and they'll still have their signed tickets for posterity. Howard Zhang and Jeremy Olivier for Taiwan Plus. Thank you for watching What's Up Taiwan. Remember to download the Taiwan Plus app for more stories from Taiwan and around the world. Finally, we leave you with images of giant pandas in China having fun in the snow. I'm Erica Liu. Take care and see you next time.